Question number 146. Read the following statements and choose the incorrect one. The very first statement says, Removal of PCT and DCT has no effect on urine concentration. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this is a correct answer to our question. Because removal of proximal convoluted tubule or PCT results in more dilute urine as fluid from filtrate will not be reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries. So, this is an incorrect statement. The next statement given is GFR in a healthy individual is nearly 125 ml per minute. And as it is a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question because GFR or glomerular filtration rate in a healthy individual is nearly 125 milliliters per minute. The next statement is the value of cardiac output is almost equal to the total amount of blood in an average adult and as it is also a correct statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question because cardiac output is approximately 5 liters which is equivalent to the total amount of blood in an average adult. The last statement given in this question is AV node can also generate action potentials similar to SA node but at a slower rate. And as it is also a correct statement, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. AV node which is known as the pace setter of heart and SA node which is also known as pace maker of heart. They are responsible for generating action potentials. But AV node generates action potentials at a slower rate in comparison to SA node. So the correct answer to this question is Option number 1. Let's discuss our next question. Blood urea levels will increase if there is insufficient filtration in. And the options given are loop of Henle, distal tubule, Bowman's capsule, collecting duct. Glomerular filtration, glomerular filtration occurs in Bowman's capsule. Therefore, insufficient filtration will increase the level of urea in blood. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3, Bowman's capsule. Blood urea levels will increase when there is insufficient filtration in Bowman's capsule. Whereas, loop of Henle, distal tubule and collecting duct are incorrect option because these are responsible for tubular secretion and reabsorption and not for glomerular filtration. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 148, for the sigmoid curve shown below, an increase in all of the following factors will cause its shift to the right, except this is an oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve and increase in factors that will lead to the shift in this oxygen dissociation curve to the right side includes increase in DPG or BPG, increase in temperature or increase in PCO2. Whereas, decrease in PO2 and decrease in pH will result in the shift of oxygen dissociation curve to the right side. On the contrary, increase in pH, increase in PO2 will result in the shift of this oxygen dissociation curve to the left side. Whereas, decrease in DPG, decrease in pH, or decrease in temperature will also shift this curve to the left side. Now the question is an increase in which factor will cause the shift to the right side except. So we have to select that increase in which factor will shift the curve to the left side. The very first option given is PCO2 and increase in PCO2 will shift the curve to the right side. So this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Next option is temperature and increase in temperature will result in the shift of this oxygen dissociation curve to the right side. So this cannot be a correct answer. Third option given is PO2 or partial pressure of oxygen and increase in partial pressure of oxygen will cause the shift of this oxygen dissociation curve to the left side. So, this is a correct answer to our question. 
And the last option given is hydrogen ion concentration. An increase in hydrogen ion concentration or acidity leads to the shift in this oxygen dissociation curve to the right side. So, this cannot be a correct answer to our question. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 149. Human urine is mostly acidic because and the options given are hydrogen ions are actively secreted into the filtrate. The next option is urea in urine causes acidity. Third option given is plasma proteins present in it are acidic. And the last option is calcium and chloride exchange in glomerulus generates acidity and the correct answer to this question is option number one human urine is mostly acidic because hydrogen ions are actively secreted into the filtrate ph of urine usually varies between 4.6 to 8 tubular secretion involves tubular secretion involves removal of urea, uric acid, creatinine, potassium ions and hydrogen ions. And it is mainly the removal of hydrogen ions which are responsible for the acidic nature of urine. So, the correct answer is option number 1. Let's discuss rest of the options. The next option is urea in urine causes acidity and this is an incorrect option because urine is mostly acidic because of the active secretion of hydrogen ions into the urine. The next option is plasma proteins present in it are acidic and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Plasma proteins in urine is an abnormal constituent of urine. The next option is calcium and chloride exchange in glomerulus generates acidity and this is also an incorrect statement. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 150. The protein primarily involved in coagulation of blood in the clotting cascade is and the options given are fibrinogen, albumin, collagen, and heparin and the correct answer to this question is option number one fibrinogen plasma protein fibrinogen is a clotting factor which is converted into this is fibrinogen and it is converted into fibrin to form a blood clot so, the correct answer is option number 1. Let's discuss rest of the options. The next option is albumin and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because albumin maintains osmolarity of blood. The next option is collagen and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. And the last option, heparin, is also an incorrect option because heparin is an anticoagulant. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question. 